What's up, y'all? Today, I got a feat to accomplish today. And not feat, as in feat, but as in feat, F-E-A-T, because I got to drink both of these gallons of water by today. And uh, it's because I have to water manipulate uh, my weight now, because I woke up at 186 this morning, which means I'm on track. But my weigh-ins is 181 for the powerlifting meet, so I gotta cut five pounds. And I'm trying to stay out the sauna as much as I can, because from my experience, when I go in the sauna and I sweat it all out, it's really, really hard for me to sleep well at night. And sleep is the biggest contributor to my strength. I'd rather have a full night's rest and not eat any meals than to be completely full and not have slept at all. So. Because sleep is so important to me, I'm trying to stay out the sauna, and I gotta drink both of those gallons by the end of today. And also, I gotta repeat the same thing tomorrow and on Wednesday, and then on Thursday, I cut out all water, and what that happens is it hyperloads or hyperhydrates my body to the point where for the first two or three days, my body's like, oh shit, Barb Street, you're gonna gang of water. Start peeing, start peeing, start peeing, start peeing. So it starts making me pee as if I have a, I'm gonna get a, forever infinite amount of water and then on Thursday when I cut water out it's gonna still keep peeing and then that's how I'm gonna lose all my water weight now this uh, you should only do this under the supervision of a professional and I have a buddy who is a elite power lifter who cuts weight like 10 to 12 pounds every single meet even and he's small too uh, he's a 148 er so I'm doing it under his supervision, so I'm going to keep contact with him every day and he's going to let me know how much sodium to take in and all that good stuff so you can do this safely. Because if you do it wrong, you can get extreme cramps, you can get organ failures, or you can be in other big health troubles. Holy crap. Look at all these damn wires. How many of you guys also have like this? insane medusa wire mess next to your bed so i got all kinds of chargers i got charger for my gimbal handle my gopro charger and then i have my laptop charger and then i got my uh iphone charger i got this other charger for something and then i got this charger no that's not a charger that's for my ac and then i have uh i'll have my laptop underneath the bed Oh yeah, and I got another charger all the way over here. This is for my other camera. For my other, other camera. How many of you guys go through the same crap? In this digital age, I don't know why they still even make sockets like this. Where there's only two. When the modern person got at least like 10 devices, the houses need to step up their socket game. Because I need to organize this. This looks heinous. Do you have confidence in me to finish the two gallons of water by the end of the the, the, uh, the end of the day? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Having my my tongue got stuck. <laughs> um. Do you have confidence in you that you'll finish two? Yeah. You're a pretty determined person, and there's a bigger goal in mind. Um, fuck, I can't put my contact in. Wait, are you even looking at a mirror? No. Don't you, why don't you do it over here? There's a mirror over here. I don't need a mirror. Oh, you don't? Damn. Um. Seems like you do, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, my eyes are just really dry. Oh. Oh, are those those new ones? No. You're not going to try those new ones? Oh, I should. Yeah, take them out. <laughs> you finally get it. <laughs> So Gio got these new contacts. <laughs> Forget your water loading. No, no, well this is important. So Gio, she has dry eyes, right? So she's always getting like really dry eyes at the end of the day and it gets it really, really... My fucking yeah, and it gets really irritated and it scratches her cornea. And up until this point, the only remedy she had are these like thick ass lubricant eye drops that she always has to get prescriptions for. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. But yesterday we went to the optometrist and they got this new technology where it's this, uh, what are those, like daily disposable or something? Yeah, they have a coating, a lubricated coating on. So these are these daily disposable lubricating coating contacts.
that you put in your eye and the doctor was saying the reason why contacts dry if your eyes are already dry the reason why the contacts dry it out even more is because the contacts require to be wet in order to be soft so it pulls moisture off your eyeball and if you have dry eyeballs like geo and it's not always the case there's a lot of factors but this is one of the factors she's thinking of this is one of the factors so she got these new prescription no the factors meaning that i'm not drinking enough water oh yeah and so bringing it back to full circle geo doesn't drink enough water so her eyeballs are dry but her vagina is always wet <laughs> So it's all that matters. So the water is going to the right places. Who needs eyes? But now she has these disposable ones, and uh, she was nice enough to give Gio a three-day trial. Yeah, she's awesome. And I hope that this helps Baby Bell's eyes feel better. Because if it feels better, Gio's gonna get a whole year order of them. And it comes with these lubricating eye drops, so it doesn't pull moisture off your eyeball. Oh uh, no, it doesn't come with eye drops. It's I mean the uh, lubricating coating. coating. Yeah. Something I mean, you guys get the point something like that science But do you think I could finish the two gallons of water? Yeah, like I was saying is there's a bigger goal in mind bigger goal being you want to compete And it's not because you want to compete for yourself You're trying to compete for barbell and you're trying to compete with the whole crew Which is like I feel like it's gonna be like 30 people of us like 30 of us um, And because you want to be there to experience that moment then I feel like you're gonna do it But it was if it was just for you no, I still feel like you're going to do it. Once you set your mind to do something, you're pretty good about doing it. So, I don't doubt you. Those are a lot of nice words for a morning time. <laughs> I mean, pff, shut up. Usually, Mama Bear is very grumpy to me. And she talks all kinds of shit in the morning. But this morning, she woke up on the... I told you I was going to be cutie. You woke up on the right side of the bed. No, I told you I was going to be cutie from now on. So my goal is to finish the whole gallon by the end of the gym, and I feel like I can do that. And that means I would have finished the whole gallon by 11 o'clock a.m., and then have the rest of the day to finish off the rest of it. That's the best strategy, though, because that's when you're going to be the most tired and craving the most water. Yeah. Because usually when you're sitting down, you're not really craving water. That's true. true. Just got into the gym. Good morning. Good morning. What's up? What are you guys doing right now? We're getting all this merchandise ready for all the happy customers oh, that wow. purchased this, these uh, items. So we're trying to do our fast as we can to get them out for them. So that's what we're doing, you know? How much did you steal while you're doing this? <laughs> a couple of stuff, you know? You see this tee? Yeah, it looks kind of new. Yeah, right? Looks a little bit too new. <laughs> right? Shoot. So that's what I got, you know? See, that's the problem. Mexicans are the hardest working, but they also steal your stuff. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's kind of dangerous. Hey, it's, uh, you know, balance things out, right? Yeah. Oh my God. How are you, Cyril? Good, how about you? Bro? Are you gonna drink two gallons too? I have to, I have to do this for Oh, hours. that's smart, I gotta freeze mine. Yeah. You taught me this. I did? Yeah, I had a oh, little I left, so I, like, <laughs> I spilt it over and the ice was like on the side layer. I can feel like the whole job. Uh, Keep it cool. Smart. Science. Science, Science. I gotta freeze mine, I forgot. I am halfway done right now. I haven't even started the gym session yet. But hopefully I knock out the other half by the time I'm done working out. Then I'll be in really, really good shape. Then I just gotta sip on the last gallon until nighttime. Let's go. Let's go. How did that feel? How did that feel? Uh, it's alright. I'm not used to the girth of the bar. It's a lot thicker. 
What kind of bar is this? It's a Texas squat bar and it's 10 pounds heavier. And the regular bar and it's thicker. Um, so it just felt a little bit weird. And I'm um, trying not to drink caffeine right now, so I feel... Sluggish? That's how you feel, like that? Like a baby that just woke up? Yeah, exactly. I'm cute. caffeine as well but that's because the caffeine does the opposite of what I'm trying to do with the water loading the water loading you're supposed to help your body retain as much water right now so you can flush it out caffeine already jump starts that by flushing it out so I have to avoid caffeine and I actually felt pretty good right now today I'm only supposed to work up to a couple of 75% singles on all the lifts and then on Wednesday it's even lighter than that and uh, it's going pretty good even though it's lightweight. To see the full workout though, go on the Barbell Brigade channel. As of now, it's still youtube.com slash bark1, my workout channel. But it will eventually be the Barbell Brigade channel. So check it out to see the full workout there. We got mama bear power over here. <laughs> that was slow. What happened? That was slow. Because the first one was fast. Did you, I do it again? You ripped it. Well, you got one more, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to feel my best, my leverages right now. Oh, okay. So since everything's light, I'm just trying to feel what's best for me because I'm trying to be in like really neat knee mode right now. Yeah. I'm just feeling everything out. So this is slightly like heavy weight. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm like 100% with everything. Because you That's ripped the first one. You ripped the first one. So I'm go again? No, you got one more, right? Yeah. Yeah. How did that feel? That felt really good. The first one I did, it felt kind of slow. And I think I didn't time out my leg drive correctly. The second one, I was able to pause and hit both my legs and my arms at the same time. So it launched off way better. All right, so I called Gio out and I said, that shit was slow and Gio don't like to be called out. So now she's about to rip 235 in my face. Or nah. Or yeah. Or maybe. Nope, still not as fast as the first one. The first one was fast. Really? Yeah, what did you do on the first one? Did you memorize that form? No. The first one was fast. But it was fast, but I didn't even hold it at the top. It was just like, boom, boom, boom. Don't that's, matter, that shit was fast as hell. That matters. If I'm not holding it up there, now it looks like a man's on the So that's why the second one I purposely slowed it on at the top. Then I'm like, I get excited. Like, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Done. Done. felt good. That's my last rep of the day and uh, currently I'm down to this much water so I just got to finish that before I leave and uh, time to go home and shower and eat some lunch. <laughs> How was your workout? It was it was good, but it, I can't I feel wrong calling it a workout. It felt like a warm up. It was a warm up. My warm up was great. How was your warm up? My warm up was it was actually pretty tiring because of the no caffeine. It was, but like you were mentioning in your workout vlog, which you guys should check out, he posts 
every week. But don't go away from this video. <laughs> open up the car, the open work. Up a new tab. Yeah, open up a new tab. Save it. Stay I on this video because I don't know what the hell's gonna go on the rest of the day. And the days are always fun and exciting. So stay here. True, but open up another tab. You should see what we do later on in the day. It's so stupid. But anyway. Yeah. So um yeah. So I didn't have caffeine. I also felt like shit the way you did. Um, but it was. I was trying to train myself in really fucked up conditions because at a meet, I I can't create my perfect conditions. What did you put, like pepper spray in your eyes? No, I just the lack of the lack of caffeine was a huge one for me because just putting on my knee sleeves, which are fucking feet in, in itself. Pretty tired yourself out. Yeah, I was already like, dude, I can't even put these on. I was gonna walk outside and just fucking throw them because I was already frustrated because I had no strength to pull them up. Damn. Yeah. But I mean, I did it. I I put it up. I'm happy. A lot of people that don't lift might be like, come on, Gio, you're being exaggerated. But these motherfuckers are crazy. Like, I, I burnt the skin off my knuckles trying to pull up my knee sleeves because um, I, I uh, rubbed it against my sock and my entire skin off my knuckles was gone. That's how tight those things are. Wow. Wow. Where are we going right now? McDonald, baby. All right. Again, I know you guys see me eating McDonald's all the time. <laughs> all the time. Gio gets McDonald's all the time, but she I still do. talks shit on JK but News. No, no, what no. a gossip the girl. The only thing I get Mentirosa. is the Artisan Grilled Chicken Sandwich because it's very macro friendly. It's super low on fat, super high in protein. The carbs are still pretty high. I don't like that about it. But um, I get it with no vinaigrette, no sauce, nothing. So I could, I could go to Chick-fil-A and get the exact same thing. That is not... McDonald's at all. No, Chick-fil-A doesn't even have grilled chicken. They yes, only they got do. fried chicken. No. They have grilled chicken. Are you kidding me? Mentirosa. Me? Yeah, so that's the only thing I eat from McDonald's. And their unsweetened iced tea, because their sweetened iced tea is fucking diabetes in a cup. Oh, Tiffany's behind us. Culo. Where is she? Oh, there she is. You see her? Mentirosa. All right, unsweetened iced tea. Hi, no give me tea. a second, please. No tea? Hi, can I have Just three? Give me a second. Give me a second, please. Oh. Just so give me a second. Oh, haha. You were talking to me. No, was it? Damn, look at those chicken nuggets. Gross. What? Chicken nuggets are the shit. You know shit. I don't like. How many times have I eaten chicken nuggets every time you order it? None. Never. But no I, shit. every day I'm dreaming that your taste buds are going to become more high quality. Look at those golden, perfected nuggets. Not down. Uh, it's okay. Um, can I have three grilled uh, artisan chicken sandwiches? Yeah. Okay. And an unsweetened iced tea. One oh, unsweetened. Large. No anything else? Yeah, with the, the chicken sandwiches, can I have no sauce or vinaigrette? On all three? Yeah. Okay. And that'll be all. Okay, next one is going to be 1806. Thank you. You're welcome. That's evidence that Gio does eat and enjoy. McDonald's. Well, you don't need evidence. There's a lot of videos of showing that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm almost done with the first one. This is just about to be halftime. So I'm going to celebrate this first gallon with you guys. Ready? Go. Mm. Oh, fuck. The, the bottom end gets really, really difficult. The first is like, woo, woo, woo. You know what this reminds me of? In boot camp, to make sure everybody is well hydrated for the next day and no one passes out, right before we go to sleep, all Marines, we stand up in a line next to our racks, which is our beds, and we have, I think, about 30 seconds to down an entire liter of water. And a liter is about, let me see, is this a liter? A liter, this is 1.5 liters. So think about this much water. We have 30 seconds to down this much and everyone's chugging as hard as they can. And once 30 seconds is up, you have to hold it over your neighbor's head. So everyone's holding a bottle over their neighbor's head. So if you don't finish, then you douse your neighbor and in the middle of the night, he comes and whoops your ass for dousing him because now he has to sleep wet. So I got pretty good at drinking water in the Marine Corps. Just a fun fact. Now it's time to eat my McDonald's. What's up, y'all? So I'm driving to the office 
by myself right now because I'm tired and I need to take a quick nap before JK needs. I know Jill's gonna call me a big baby for this, but I love taking naps and I just think that she's jealous that in a 20 minutes time, she's not able to take a nap and I am. I think that's one really cool thing about me or I guess like if I were an X-Men, my mutant power would be that I'm able to sleep on command. So even if I only have like seven minutes, I could probably get a good five minute nap in a seven minute time frame. And it super uh, rejuvenates me and re-energizes me. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go do right now. I'm going to the office to take a quick nap. It's 12.35 and we gotta shoot at 1 p.m. I think I'll be able to sneak in a quick 15 to 20 minute nap. Oh, someone's here. I thought no one was here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go take a nap. Okay. What time are we starting at one? Uh, yeah, well, call time's one, we start at one fifteen. Okay, I'll set my alarm at one. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, the temperature is set perfectly at 70. Nice. I am gonna be able to take a nice little nap. Oh, look, it's Gio over here. So this is my usual nap routine. I go in the prop room and then I grab this sleeping bag liner and also this pillow. And then, turn off the light. And then I go into the merch room and I set down my pillow and then my sleeping bag liner. Look at my eye. Oh no, you have that thing again. I don't know how I get this. It's pink no, it's not pink eye. It's a it's he a blister. It so much. Yeah. Yeah. That's a blister it's a blister. It's a blister, watch. If I go like this, there's like a bubble that forms. So it's not pink eye. And it goes away in like an hour. So nobody farted in your eye? No. <laughs> Do you want eye drops? Yeah, do you have eye drops? Just like how Judy got yeah. pink eye. Yeah. It's crazy. Every time I um I rub my eye hard, it turns into this. Ah, bro. Yeah. You hold this. Byron did that? I think I rubbed my eye like... What's this? What is that? Right. Show, show them. Byron made this. <laughs> Byron is one of our JK News editors and he always edits the craziest shit. <laughs> he's super comedic creative. I know, he's an editor with the, with the sense of humor. I like this iron stuff. Oh, it's more chipped. <laughs> oh my god, your eye looks so gross. Really? It's like a bubble. I know, yeah. it's crazy. Look at that. Why do you rub it so much? Because it feels good while I'm rubbing it. Oh my god, it looks like a cyst. Yeah, it turns into a bubble. So gross. What is that? I don't know, but then it goes away though. His body does the weirdest, grossest shit. Thank you. And then now we're gonna be ready to film JK News. <laughs> All right. I just got done filming JK News and I come home to a pleasant surprise. Oh yeah. We got Nadim's signature September 11 kebabs. <laughs> Look at the recipe on those guys. What's this one? Chicken. Chicken thighs. And what's this one? Uh, Tri-tip. Did you season them differently? Both, yeah. They're both completely different. They look bomb as fuck. Can they smell it? Can you guys smell it? I can. Damn. Does it really smell good? Hell yeah! Tell Tiff to smell it. Bye. Hi. Oh my lordy lord. That smells amazing. Is anyone else yeah. What do you think, babe? Come back here. I think he's amazing. If if nobody wipes him up, sure, you sure. guys are stupid. You better wipe him up. Because look at him. He could cook. He's very neat. Look at how presentable that is. Because usually when guys cook, specifically Bart, when he cooks, Ooh. no, it's actually pretty presentable. Oh, there's no one over there. It's rare when a guy can make things look very clean, neat, and presentable, unless they're like chefs. Well, Nadim has a good teacher, and he taught him all of this, and I don't want to take any the of the credit, but I am the teacher. Yeah, right. He didn't salt. That's 100% true. Yeah, see? Look at that. Damn, that looks good. 
Good job. The only thing I didn't add the amount of salt you did last time. Oh, okay. So I made it good this time. It's just the camera's not working. <laughs> I'm about to get the first bite with this giant ass chicken skewer. Right? Mmm. That's delicious. Oh. Good job, Nadine. It was bomb. Thank you. Is it okay? Everything is delicious. It's very good. Very, very good. It's delicious. O on camera good or off camera good? That was okay. good. The only thing is, last time, since you soaked it overnight, the marinade got into the meat more, but it was still very good. This is like an hour. Procrastinator. Can I have the sweet tea? Whatever you want. I'll bring it to the table. Whatever you want. This is your How's house. that? Was it yummy? Oh my god, it's so good. If this was my house. KC is missing out. I know. Tell him to quit fucking around all day. I told him, like, hey, everyone start eating. Do I have to wait for you? He's like, no, go for it. Tell him to quit fucking around. Like, you need a cup of rice? No, you don't get to eat anything. It's oh, all for us. Shit. I finished eating, and then now I have the most insane food coma. Also because I haven't been drinking any caffeine. So while everyone is out hanging out in the kitchen or in the dining room, I'm just in the living room chilling like a loser by myself with no one else in the living room but me and this lonely fan and this pillow and I'm just here being a dog in the sun that's just going because I'm really tired now I think I'm gonna take a nap and hopefully answer some emails or something but the food was amazing it was delicious and now it's just time to chill. Oh, my water progress. That's my second gallon, almost down to the bottom. So it looks like I'll be on track. I think if every hour I could drink an inch, I'll be done by 10 o'clock. All right, guys, new update. This is the last of my second gallon and I'm about to finish it with you guys. Finished, babe. Yay! Now what's probably gonna happen is uh, I'm just gonna end up peeing all night long. That's what usually happens. It's around almost 10 o'clock, I think. Let me see. Yep, it's almost 10 o'clock right now. So I'm glad I was able to finish. Started early in the gym and knocked out two gallons and uh, go to sleep soon and rest and see you guys tomorrow. The circumcision branding is so branding. strong. Yeah. The, branding is circumcision. the circumcision branding is so <laughs> strong that the natural, the natural way is now considered the modified way. So for I example, for I example, that. right? Like